determine if two statements, given in English, are equivalent using a truth table. All right, let's do this. Consider the following statements. It will rain today. I will wear rain boots. Funny thing is, it's raining today and I totally wore rain boots this morning. Anyway, we are then going to look at the next statement that is a compound statement here. It will rain today and I will wear rain boots. Use a truth table to determine if any of the following statements are equivalent to the underlying statement above. That's this one. So this is the statement we are comparing to. We have four of them. If it rains today, then I will wear rain boots. If it doesn't rain today, then I will not wear rain boots. It will not rain today, and I will wear rain boots. And number four, it will rain today, or I will wear rain boots. Are any of these four equivalent to it will rain today, and I will wear rain boots? That is we are, what we're going to do with a truth table. Now, before we jump into our truth table, I want to put all of these in to symbols because sometimes that is just a little bit easier. So let me go to some fun color. Okay, so first I'm going to say it will rain today is going to be P. I will wear rain boots is Q. So the statement that we are comparing to, it will rain today and I will wear rain boots is P and Q. That is the statement we are comparing to. So now let's look at the first one. If it rains today, then I will wear rain boots. This is a conditional. If P, then Q. Okay, number two. If it doesn't rain today, then I will not wear rain boots. Another conditional. Not P, if not P, then not Q. Exciting. Number three, it will not rain today and I will wear rain boots. So now we have a not rain and rain boots. And then the last one, which is exciting, it will rain today, P, or I will wear rain boots. So P or Q. So these are the four that we are going to play with. So go ahead, write those down so that you know, because we're going to move to the next page and figure this all out in our truth table. All right, so refreshing on a truth table. We have P and Q. So I know that if I have two items, I need four lines. So I will start with true, true, false, false. My second column will be true, false, true, false. Okay, now let's remember, we need our comparison. So let's make our comparison one, this lovely pinkish color. And that was P and Q. This is everything we're comparing to. Okay, so P and Q means both P and Q must be true for it to be true. So the top one, true, true. Then we have true, false, false, true, false, false. So this is our comparison line, right? This is what we are comparing to. All right, so I've highlighted that just so we can keep that in mind. Now, number two was the uh, conditional, the conditional of if P, then Q. Now, remember about conditionals. Conditionals are only false when the front end is true, but the back end is false. So the P would be the front end and the Q would be the back end. So there, it can only be false in one way. Okay, so first let's look. We have true, true. Oh, that's good. That's true. Now in the second one, we have true, false. So you can see the front is true, but the back is false. So this is false for our conditional. And that's the only time. So the last two where our p-value is false are both going to be true. You will notice this if p then q does not match our highlighted column. So this is not equivalent. All right, let's look at the next one. Now the next one is not p, if not p, then not q. So we need to find not p and not q before we can do if not P, then not Q. So this is a little bit more work. So let's go ahead and do the negation of P. It's just the opposite truth values. So instead of true, true, false, false, we are false, false, true, true. Same with Q. We just go to not Q by changing uh, the opposite truth values. Now we go to the same conditional idea. Remember, conditional, only false, 
when the front end is true and the back end is false. So this one is false. The other three are all true. Compare this to our highlighted column. Once again, this is not equivalent. The third one is not P and Q. Okay, so now we look at our not P and Q. Well, and means both not P and Q must be true. So the first one, we have not P, Q. Well, that's false. False, 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 true, true, false. Well, those are all false. Time out. Nope, I lied. I'm so sorry. I made a mistake. Please forgive. Not P, here's a true, and here's a true. So that one is true. I was like, I didn't think that was right. Okay, but when I compare false, false, true, false to true, false, 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 that is not an equivalent statement. And the last one, P or Q. So now we're back to our first two columns here. And the word or means just one of them must be true. So true, 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 false, false, true, false, false. Okay, again, compare P or Q to P and Q. Those are not equivalent. So none of our statements, if we go back, all four of these are not equivalent to it will rain today and I will wear rain boots. And that is just how it goes.